Okay. <coughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is uh, <coughs> Professor David J. De Los Reyes. The date for today is uh, July 2, 2024, and the time is... Uh, what time is it? Uh, it's almost 10 o'clock. Okay, my topic for this evening will be a long video format uh, topic. It's a continuation of my long video format topic, uh, DC circuit. And uh, we are now on lesson number 11. Uh, lesson number 11 is still uh, a <coughs> concept using the so-called Thevenin's uh, theorem concept. Because the last time around, I had given you one problem sol by solving Thevenin's uh, theorem uh, solution. And for tonight, I will be giving another variation of problem. It's a little bit tricky because uh, <coughs> uh, on the computation of the open circuit, uh, two resistances are not involved. Okay, let's proceed. The subject matter for tonight will be DC circuit, lesson number 11. Uh, we are now on lesson number 11. So for those of you who are following my topic on this circuit, this is now lesson number 11. And this will be another problem involving Thevenin's theorem solution. Another variation of the problem, so we could see the difference, okay? Okay, I will try to bring out the figure for the problem. The figure for the problem is just a single source DC circuit that involves how many resistances? This is two, four... Uh, six resistances. This is actually 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and 12. Energized by a battery, which is 24 volts. Uh, <coughs> we are asked to solve for the problem or for the current passing through this 8 ohm load here. So I place it here an arrow, red arrow, capital letter I with the subscript 8 ohm what will be equal to. That's the one we are to solve for it by using Thevenin's theorem. Okay? So, like what I said, pi, the current passing through the 8 ohm, meaning this load, using Thevenin's theorem. Okay, uh, let's proceed with the solution. As always, I give you the figure I ask for the requirement, so what's next will be the solution. The sequence is always like that. Okay, for the solution, okay, step number one, because there are actually three steps on how to compute for current passing through any given load using Thevenin's theorem. Step number one, disconnect the 8 ohm load and solve for ATH. Capital letter E with the subscript TH is actually the Thevenin's open circuit voltage. We must have to solve for this for step number one. And the procedure and how to compute for this one, uh, there should be a figure. So, according to this step, uh, we must have to disconnect the load in which the current will be the one we are looking for. So, this is actually the load. We cut it here. Okay, we remove this one, so the figure will be something like this, right? So we disconnect it here, okay? And uh, for step number one, we must have to compute for the voltage across this, okay? Uh, meaning the Thevenin's uh, theorem open circuit voltage. So after disconnecting the given load, okay? We put our uh, voltmeter over here, and what will be the reading? But theoretically speaking, if we try to bring out our calculation using mathematics, what will be capital letter E with the subscript TH, meaning the open circuit voltage for Thevenin's theorem? So after disconnecting the 8 ohm load, the figure will be something like this. Okay? So if the load is connected, Okay, I will try to remove first this one. The figure is something like that. We disconnect the it load, right? 
So if we try to, after the disconnection, whether we like it or not, there will be no current passing here and no current passing here because this is an open circuit, right? So it seems the circuit is just like that. Okay? So it seems the 4 ohm load is non-existent and so the 12 ohm load. So it is just something like this. And the voltage across this is actually capital letter A. We subscribe the H dependent circuit open circuit voltage. Okay. I remove this 4 ohm and 12 ohm load in the computation of this one because uh, there, were, there was no current passing through them. So it seems the voltage we are looking for is actually the voltage across the 6, six ohm load. And to compute for the voltage across the 6, ohm, six ohm load, uh, this is just a simple series circuit, right? Uh, this 2 ohm here, 6 ohm and 10 ohms are all in series. So capital letter R with the subscript T, meaning total resistance for this circuit here, will be 2 plus 6 plus 10, and that will be 18 ohms. Okay? And if we know the total single equivalent of this one, we could compute for I total. Right? So I total will be the applied voltage divided by the summation of this one, which is uh, 18. And what will come out for the total current will be 1.33 amperes. So after the disconnection of the 8 ohm load, the circulating current here will just be simply, what will be the value? 1.33 amperes. No current that will come here and so with here because uh, this was an open circuit. Right? Like what I said, in the computation of ATH, this 4 ohm and 12 ohm has no effect. Right? So if we try to compute for the voltage across this ATH, Okay, it should be the total applied voltage minus the voltage drop here. Okay, minus the voltage drop here. So I place it here. Capital letter A with the subscript TH will be 24, the voltage source, minus the voltage drop across this 2 ohm, and the voltage drop across this 10 ohm. So the current passing here are both the same. So it will be I total times uh, the summation of 2 plus 10 and what will come out will be 8 volts so the voltage across this will be 8 volts okay that's the so called E with the subscript TH meaning the open circuit voltage after the disconnection of the 8 ohm load uh, this 4 ohm and 12 ohm has no effect in the computation of this Okay, what's next? Step number two. Uh, we must have to compute for the value of R with the subscript TH, meaning the open circuit Thevenin's uh, resistance. That is, uh, step number two, we will short the 24 volt source and solve for RTH. RTH is actually the open circuit voltage that will appear here if we try to short out this 24 volt source okay so for step number two uh, we short out this one so it seems this 24 volts is uh, non-existent okay uh, this is the location of the initial 24 volt source okay and the resulting circuit now will be 2 ohm will be existent 4 ohm will be considered okay uh, because for the meantime, we are not solving for voltage, we are solving for the total re resistance across this. This is still 6 ohm, this is 10 ohms and 12 ohms. So if we try to get our ohmmeter here, after the shorting of the 24 volt source, like what I said, what will be RTH? And theoretically speaking, what will be the value if we try to solve it mathematically? We can solve it mathematically. Okay, uh, to solve for RTH, 
Oh, this is an easy one. <coughs> uh, these two ohms here and four ohms are in series. So I place the single equivalent of this as Re1. So this should be 2 plus 10 and this would be 2 volts. So the single equivalent of this one will be 2 volts. Okay? The single equivalent of 2 and 10 is actually 12 and this will be in parallel with the 6 ohm load. And if we try to take the single equivalent, uh, there are two resistances in parallel, it will be the product over the sum. So this should be 12 times 6 over 12 plus 6, or this is 72 over 18, and this should be 4, 4 ohms. So the compressed equivalent of this one is 4 ohms. Right? So as a final uh, total value now, uh, we know the single equivalent of this one. We compress this one and this single equivalent, it is 4 ohms. So this 4 ohm here will be in series with this 4 ohm, in series with this 12 ohm. So RTH now will be 4 plus the single equivalent of this one after the compression. Okay, still 4 plus 12. And the total value will be RTH equal to 20 ohm. ohm. And this is the so-called open circuit resistance for a Thevenin's Turing. Okay? Uh, that's uh, theoretically speaking. Right? Step number three. We will draw the Thevenin's equivalent. And Thevenin's equivalent is actually constant voltage source. So we computed the open circuit voltage. This is the one. We computed the open circuit resistance, RTH, which is 20 ohms. Okay, this is the original terminal, so we will try to reconnect the 8 ohm load. So if we try to reconnect, okay, we reconnect it. Okay, this will be the resulting uh, TBNS equivalent now. Uh, these are the values using step number 1 and number 2. We reconnect the load in which the current will be known, right? Okay. So if we try to reconnect it, this is a simple series circuit now. This RTS is in series with this one. So the total resistance of this one will be the sum of this uh, 20 plus 8. So if we try to compute for the current uh, passing through the 8 ohm load, the current passing through the 8 ohm load is actually the total current circulating on the tape and equivalent. And that will be A. The total resistance will be 20 plus 8. This is 20 plus 8. So this will be 8 over 28. And the current passing through the 8 ohm load is same as the total current circulating here on the Thevenin's equivalent circuit. And that is actually 0.285 amperes. Okay. That's it, guys. So the next time around, uh, we will be checking this answer here by presenting the normal solution. So we could check the validity of this answer of 0.285 amperes. Okay, uh, that's it guys. That's uh, a Thevenin's equivalent problem, another problem involving Thevenin's theorem. Okay, uh, good evening from Los Angeles. This is Professor David J. Delosuit.